Hey, show me who your fans are and I will show you who you are. Amer, real friends are easy to find. Seek for those who pursue Jesus Christ. An achiever in mission is a person who build godly friendships. This type of relationship, God will surely bless. It says in Proverbs 13 verse 20, Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools suffer harm. Jesus, we come before you. of majesty where I felt all the wonder of a child I have sung melodies older than galaxies found the joy in the tears that I have cried still I haven't seen the end will you meet me here again Open the floodgates of heaven, pour out your glory, fill this place. God, let the weight of your presence fill me with wonder once again. Open the floodgates. more to be seen there is more to be seen dreams that haven't been dreamed that you whisper the moment that i kneel there are mysteries unknown in the glimpses you've shown revelation that heaven will reveal open the floodgates of heaven pour out your glory fill this place God let the weight of your presence fill me with wonder once again still I haven't seen yet will you meet me here again till I'm in over my head will you meet me here again still I haven't seen the end will you meet me here again oh till I'm in over my head Will you meet me here again? Open the floodgates of heaven Pour out your glory, fill this place God, let the weight of your presence Fill me with wonder once again. Open the floodgates of heaven. Pour out your glory, fill this place. God, let the weight of your presence fill me with wonder once again. Jesus, we bless your name. We want more of you. Hi there, Amer. Welcome once again to our Top of the List segment. I'm Pastora Tessa together with... 
Gamers, we have been learning a lot about bad and good companions and how they affect our lives. Whether we like it or not, they contribute influences in our lives, which develops us into somebody. This tells us that we should choose the right people to be friends with. So today we will have five examples of friendship in the Bible and the qualities that make them great. Let's get started. Number one, David and Jonathan. Hmm, maybe you have already guessed that they will be included in our list. We have read and learned how good their friendship was. You know what, Amer? Sometimes friendship can be formed instantly. Have you ever experienced that? That you met someone and in that moment you felt that you will be good friends? Yes? So, it's also like in their friendship. In 1 Samuel 18 verse 1, As soon as he had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was neat to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own. Jonathan loved David as himself. What an example of a dedicated friendship. Amers, Love your friend as yourself. Treat your friend the way you wanted to be treated. Number two, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We think about the welfare of our friends, right? Daniel did not forget his friends. He requested that his three friends be promoted to high positions while he remained in the king's court. It says in Daniel 2 verse 49, Daniel made a request to the king and he appointed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of province of Babylon. But Daniel remained at the king's court. Amers, friends look out for each other. Sometimes we are presented opportunities that lead to help our friends so they can help others too. Number three, Jesus with Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. We can notice how plainly Martha spoke to Jesus when her brother Lazarus died. John 11:21. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you have been here, my brother would have not died. Can you imagine speaking that to Jesus? We know that he is Lord of Lords. And we will always choose the right words to say to him, right? Well, in their case, we can say that she had a close relationship with Jesus because she was honest with what she had in mind. Young people, friend speaks honestly with one another. But keep in mind to tell what is true so that you can be a blessing to your friend. Number four. Paul, Priscilla, and Aquila. One of the common things that friends do is that they introduce friends to other friends, which we will also see how Paul connected Priscilla and Aquila to other believers. It says here in Romans 16 verses 3 to 4, Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risk their necks for my life to whom not only I give thanks, but all the churches of the Gentiles give thanks as well. It's happier when we make more friends who love and serve the Lord. What a joy to see a group of friends going together in serving the Lord. Amen? Amen! Number 5, Timothy and Epaphroditus. In the book of Philippians, Paul talks about friends' loyalty and willingness of those close to us to look out for one another, just like what Timothy and Epaphroditus did. This Paul took care of those who were close to them. Let's read Philippians 2.20 and 25-26. For I have no one like him who will be genuinely concerned for your welfare. I have thought it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, and fellow worker and fellow soldier, and your messenger and minister to my need. For he has been longing for you all and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill. 
we treat our friends just like our own family. We offer help, especially in times that they needed us most. Love, loyalty, dedication, and honesty are just some of the qualities that makes a friendship great. Amers, let these examples of friendship remind us that how we should be treating one another daily. It says here in Romans 12 verse 10, Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. So that's it for our top of the list. Always remember Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are Achievers in Mission. Hi Amor, this is Pastor Young. Welcome back. And this is Amplify. Tonight we'll be talking about building godly friendships. Having real friends. Godly friendships is God's idea. Do you believe that? Yeah, God wants you to have good ones. And these friends will help you be established in your walk with God, will help you get closer to God. First of all, let's talk about real friends help you become wise. Proverbs 13 verse 20 Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Wise in such a way that you are having godly relationships, righteous uh, thoughts, godly ideas, having good relationships with your parents, having good practices in your studies, being faithful in serving God. Amen. Real friends help you get deeper in your relationship with God. When you have real ones, they will always be there to say godly advices. These friends who will help you uh, get deeper in your relationship with God. They, these people who will help you or encourage you love God more. So we really have to pray for this kinds. Amen. Real friends help you become wise in decision making. First Thessalonians 5 verse 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Yes, real friends or godly friends help you be built up. As you can see, real friends are God-given. They are God-given gifts to you. And these people will be used by God to help you in your spiritual walk with God. On the other hand, friends who stick around influencing you to do evil, you must get rid of. This is something that you have to be cautious with when building friendships. Learn to evaluate people. Learn to evaluate your conversations. See to it that the center of your relationship is God. The, the pattern of thinking, the entertainment that you watch or you listen to, are these things glorifying God? If yes, yeah, you got you are on the right track. You got the right one. Or you are a real friend. Amor, you have to know when friendship with another person is leading you away from the Lord. And this is something that you really have to be prayerful of. Because these people will really influence and affect how you think. Proverbs 27 verse 17. Iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. Yeah, a real friends will sharpen you in such a way that you will, be, you will become better. You will become a better student. You will become a better classmate. You will become a better uh, child to your parents. Student to your professors or teachers. Amen? They will build you up. They will help you. They will bring wisdom, not foolishness. Not They will not bring up foolish talk. No, not even a hint of any wicked thing. 
will come out of your mouth. These people will just help you grow in your relationship with God. Will help you be happy and satisfied in life uh, through the through the through the wonderful word of God. Meanwhile, a bad friend will lead you to sin, encourage ungodly traits, and would rather see you fall than do good in life. Again, something to be cautious with. Evaluate uh, this friend's uh, traits, his relationship with you, oh, your, your goals as, as friends. Real friends also loves you enough to say the truth though it hurts, so you could benefit and learn. Proverbs 27 verse 6, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, and profuse are the kisses of an enemy. Yes. A good friend would rebuke you, would criticize, healthily criticize you, so you could learn, so you could do good or do better in life. Amor, God's provision is always here, even in seeking for godly friends. You will not run out of good or godly ones. God will surely lead you to this people. Hanging out with Jesus will help you make wise decisions and will lead you to godly relationships you are praying for. When, you, when we hang out with our good friend, our best friend, Jesus Christ, Surely, He will help you see who should you be uh, friends with. He will lead you to an individual. He will, lead, he, he will lead you to groups of people who will help you be a better person in your walk with God. He will help you, he will, he will help you bring out the best uh, in you. So you have to ask God for wisdom when choosing friends in your life. And remember, bad company corrupts good character or good morals. So choose your friends wisely. Look for real ones. And let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, I come before you. And we thank you so much, God, for reminding us today to choose our friends, to choose real ones to choose godly friends lord help our young people to be wise in choosing godly friendships and keeping good friends and staying away from bad ones thank you for the wisdom thank you for your goodness thank you for your provision in jesus name we pray amen and amen thank you so much for watching Achievers in Mission Today, always remember Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are Achievers in Mission. We hope to see you tomorrow.